Hello everybody, Michel Prophet is here and in this video I'm going to show you how to navigate file path with the convenience in Nushal. So let's open the Nushal Prophet organization, Nushal Show repository and here let's go to the chapter number 6 and here you can find all the codes that I will use in this video. Let's start with something simple. So by default Nushal allows navigating file paths effectively out of the box. So I can just type tilde and then I type tab and then I can navigate from the home directory of this user. I can go to new shell, here I can choose crats and here I can for example go to new std directory. Hit enter and I will be there. Also I can do this a bit more effectively. How? I can use this setting in vconfig completion algorithm fuzzy. And now I will be able to repeat all the steps with less presses of buttons. Nus, cra, std. So I just typed some characters from the segments and Nushell will find exactly what I need. And I can hit enter and I will go to the same directory. Here is the key binding that will allow pasting my previously visited directories into a command line with shortcut Alt Shift Char R. So when I activate this key binding, I hit Alt Shift R, I will see all the previously visited directories from my SQLite history. And I can go there quickly. So no goodies, enter. Like that. Also it is very frequently used and convenient way for navigating path with FZF. And here's a key binding that will allow to use Ctrl T for navigating file paths in the current directory. Though only in the current directory. And it is not very convenient for me, so I decided to set up Brute as a file picker. And I did. First of all, Brute is an application that allows to navigate file paths using convenient tree structure. It allows different operations on files and it allows previewing the files. If you use instructions from the root site, then you will have br command, which will allow you to navigate file paths quickly and easily. I hit alt enter and I am in new shell folder. I hit br and I go to std and here I can preview files just out of the box. So what is necessary for using Brute as a file picker with Ctrl T key binding is this. First let's save this configuration. Next let's activate this key binding. Initially my pain was that I wanted for many times to have completions here for the use keyword. But <laughs> they are available only for current directory. So I'm not able to see completions from my home directory. So I created this key binding for brute control T. And now I can just go to git goodies commands. And now I will be able to preview commands from the previously selected file cprint. Hello, no shell profit. And what is cool about this brute control T key binding is that it stacks well with the previously showed key binding that will paste previously visited directories into common line and it will just start brute from the selected path. I enter here goodies and now I hit control T and I start from goodies. .no demo open thanks for watching